Partner of the Year gets announced around this time every year, uh, and um, 10 years of sustained excellence for, for Nationwide. For those not familiar with it, the Partner of the Year program, talk about that a little bit. Partner of the Year program uh, extends to all of our partners, and it's not just for products or retailers, it's also for uh, commercial building owners, <clears throat> as well as new home builders, because Energy Star covers all of those things, not just products. Somewhere between one and two percent of our total partners win Partner of the Year. What Nationwide has done is build Energy Star into the DNA of your offerings to your members, and that's that's what we're always hoping for. Welcome into the Independent Thinking Podcast. This is your host Rob Stott. We had a unique opportunity at Prime Time uh, earlier this month to sit down with Dan Cronin program manager at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, uh, who works specifically uh, with the Energy Star program. And Dan and I, uh, you know, not a special podcast in the sense that, you know, we, we've done one before, but unique in the sense that this was the first time we got to sit down in person together uh, to record a podcast because this was the first time Dan uh, was able to attend a prime time with us. So to have him there in person, um, podcast, of course, cool enough as it is, uh, but uh, to actually have him with us in Vegas for prime time to be able to experience the show, see what Nationwide is all about, and see how Energy Star really does kind of, uh, you know, proliferate all, all throughout the the prime time show floor via our you know, various vendor partners who uh, carry Energy Star certified product. And uh, of course, those other, you know, partners of ours that are winners and uh, often recognized in the Energy Star Partner of the Year program, which uh, as we are dropping this episode, if you're listening to this on the release day, uh, Tuesday, March 26th, uh, you know this is the the day that uh, Energy Star has given out its 2024 awards, of which nationwide, you know, once again, 10 years running, the uh, Energy Star Partner of the Year for Sustained Excellence. Um, excited to be able to you know announce that on, on this day um, as this podcast drops in of course, have the conversation with Dan um, about the program, but about so much more, you know, about, you know, his experiences at primetime, kind of what he witnessed, um, what, what's going on there, uh, you know, at the show in in the appliance space, in the Energy Star space, and uh, so much more. So uh, appreciate him taking that time. I know it was just a few steps, you know, from our booth to uh, where he was stationed for primetime, but um, you know, awesome opportunity, like I said, to get to sit down with him in person and dive deeper into Energy Star and so much more, uh, you know, about energy efficiency for our independent thinking podcast. So let's get into it. This is Dan Cronin of the EPA here on the Independent Thinking Podcast. All right, we are back on the Independent Thinking Podcast coming to you from prime time here out here in las vegas and uh we've done a podcast before but it, it doesn't it feel different to do it in person it's much different mr yes. dan cronin uh, project manager there at the u.s environmental protection agency specifically right. the energy star program That's right. uh Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming, yeah. man. Yeah, thank you for yeah. inviting me. Yeah, uh, well, I got us. that's all Caleb, right? We got uh, yeah, know. Caleb and Frank. They <laughs> they invited me. They've been inviting me actually, <laughs> but this is the first time that I can make it work actually for a very long time. No, that's awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys are a great partner uh, for Energy Star, and uh, it actually has given me a deeper appreciation for everything that you guys do. It's the yeah. the whole nexus of the manufacturers and the, the members and all that. Um, plus, your, your market share is uh, collectively is quite large, yeah. and so you guys do move markets. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been definitely eye opening, and, and I, I appreciate yeah, what you well, all do. I, I, I want to start there because uh, you know your impre- great overview of kind of your impressions of the show. So, like, what as you're here, you know, knowing that you were coming, how did you mm-hmm. prepare for prime time, or, or what, what did you want to try to accomplish while you were here with us? Well, specifically, there's. I, I definitely wanted to connect with some of the manufacturers who are here. Yeah. Um, the, some of the folks that I interact with were going to be here, and I, I did get a chance to, to chat with them. Mm-hmm. There are several Partner of the Year winners here yeah. as well, as uh, along with Nationwide itself. Um, so, seeing what they were, how they're marketing their products, how they're using the Energy Star out in uh, the field, and what they're talking about. Um, everyone, everyone. Uh, it's not. It's not a 
one size fits all approach. Right. Right. Everyone takes it and uses it um, in the in the way that they see best. And I I, I love that. I, I think yeah. that's great that people are taking Energy Star and using it in a creative way. No, that's awesome. So, um, we could talk about it, right? We're we're sitting here. It, we'll, we'll you know, on camera. We it's a little bit before, but as we're dropping this episode and it's going live, Partner of the Year. Yes, we'll dive right in, right? So that's. Partner of the Year gets announced around this time every year, uh, right. and um, ten years of a, of sustained excellence for that's for right. nationwide. So that's talk right. about that program. Uh, you know, to to be involved with it. I know a lot of our, our winners, our co-winners, the last couple of years mm -hmm. here with us as well. So to be able to, you mentioned being able to see them is a unique opportunity. Last year at primetime, uh, it lined up so perfectly. We were able to right. present some awards to them. Um, you know, on behalf of Nationwide and and. Energy Star, but uh, mm -hmm. that program, kind of for those not familiar with it, the Partner of the Year program, yeah. talk about that a little bit. Sure, so the Partner of the Year program uh, extends to all of our partners, and it's not just for products or retailers, it's also for uh, commercial building owners, mm -hmm. <clears throat> as well as new home builders, because Energy Star covers all of those things, not just products. Right. Um, so I would say about somewhere between one and 2% of our total partners win Partner of the Year. Um, and so the fact that you have won so for, uh, for 10 years, and then I think a total of 20 years. Yeah, I forget. Some, somewhere I, in that you range. You may know better than me, I think. Yes. <laughs> the sustained it's, excellence it's, starts after a certain point? Is after right? three years. You're three? On your okay. third consecutive win, you, you are a sustained excellence partner. Fantastic. And um, so, I mean, what, what Nationwide has done is build Energy Star into the DNA of your offerings to your members. And that's, that's what we're always hoping for. Because, the, I mean, the Energy Star conveys quality, it conveys right. efficiency, dollar savings. When a consumer sees the little blue logo, that's what they associate it with. Right. And so, yeah, it's a way to, to build a bridge between someone who <clears throat> may not know exactly what they want, but they, they see that little blue logo and um, they, they want it. They want it in their home. Um, <clears throat> and so it's a partnership program, the, you know, Energy Star. And, and I think this is the, the truest sense of partnership because, you know, we're EPA, we can create all the marketing materials we want, we can create all the technical specifications that we want, but until it, a partner actually takes it and puts it out into the world, um, you know, when does a tree <coughs> falling in the forest make a sound of no one's around, you know, right. th I think that's the, the, the difference. So without you guys uh, really um, hammering the the energy savings message yeah we, we could only go so far so yeah. we appreciate it no it's awesome and, and for us i mean it, it maybe it's because we've been doing it for so long right yeah. uh, that it, it makes sense to us but it's one that i uh, you know we were talking before right the the retailer needs to continue to hear um yeah. and, and learn about so i for those that might not know let's you know rewind a little bit uh the overview on energy star and, and the importance of it you know, within this channel, uh, obviously it's got broad, broader reach, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. a lot of categories it touches, but to retailers, what's the importance of, of this program? Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> it started, Energy Star started with one product category, with, which was computers back in 1992, and now there's over 75 product categories. So it, uh, it runs the gamut of what we cover, everything from any HVAC product in your home, any water heating product in your home, uh, electronics, and of course appliances, <clears throat> which a lot of your members sell, and that extends to uh, clothing as well as kitchen. Um, and th the way we do it, I don't, I don't wanna get too far into the details, but when, whenever there's a differentiation opportunity, whenever yeah. there's a more efficient product in a, a given category, that's, that's an opportunity to us. We, we wanna capture that and, and point people or just let people know, let consumers know that an efficient option exists out in the world. It's a purely voluntary program, mm -hmm. so manufacturers choose to have their product tested and then certified, right. um, and then uh, in in return, in some cases, there are a lot of rebates available from utilities that um, are able to subsidize the cost of a, a brand new Energy Star product. Right, <laughs> and those are nationwide. Um, so, so that has kind of been the engine for the success and the growth of, of at least the products. I work on the yeah. product side. Right. And <clears throat> so it's, uh, it's been successful. We're always looking for new products as well. Right. Um, so one of our newest products is electric cooking. And okay. yep. that is uh, both induction as well as coil. Mm -hmm. And 
that also includes portable models. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that that's really exciting for us because yeah. there are a lot of benefits to electric cooking that that are not just energy savings, but they're health benefits um, and uh, safety benefits. Yeah. So especially with induction. Right. Right. And you know, I'm walking around here at the show. There's there seems to be from the manufacturer standpoint a lot of emphasis on on induction, but but electric as well. Yeah. And absolutely. so it, it seems like everyone kind of gets that this is going to be a part of the future, uh, or, or a bigger part of the future than it right. has been. Right. Right. Uh, and, and it kind of goes back to as well that you mentioned the partnership, right? Uh, obviously nationwide EPA, uh, but as well the manufacturers and nationwide. Mm-hmm. It's like a, you know, you mentioned the federal. We were talking also earlier the federal triangle, right? It feels yeah. like feels like that's what it is, right? Between the manufacturer and EPA and yeah. and nationwide to to be able to work. Well, we'll call it the federal square. How about that? Because then there's the retailers yeah. involved in this as well. So, True. Uh, no, making that partnership happen. Um, you know, they are the retailer. They are a quarter of the of that square that we're you know I'm referencing. Yeah. Um, but so how can they leverage those other three corners? Yeah, I mean, now, now by the other three corners, you mean the products or all of it? So all products okay. nationwide, EPA. Like, what's yeah. available there to them that they? Oh, can, oh, oh, in terms of uh, yeah. co-marketing materials, yeah. yeah so we come out with uh, lots of co-marketing materials for free that yeah. any of your members can right. take and use. Um, I believe that you all make this available to yep. your members as well. But um, yeah, you know, if you're a member of Nationwide, you're technically a, a member of ours yep. because you're part of that group and you should be if you're selling energy star products yeah. you should put that front and center as an option for c- consumers coming in yeah. because because it does convey quality and energy savings and if you're not currently if you're if you're running a store right now yeah. and you're not currently thinking about how can I get rebates in my store to drive down that that point at the uh, point of sale drive down the cost of the point of sale uh, you should be Right. Um, because there are, we have a, on our website, we have a rebate finder, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, G- Google Energy Star Rebate Finder, and uh, we have nationwide rebates for, uh, that are updated for the entire country, for all of our products. Yep. And uh, people find a lot of value in that. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's, you know, you, um, you mentioned the tools. I, I can personally vouch because <laughs> I know around, you know, you guys, obviously there's um, the partner of the year stuff that's coming up mm-hmm. uh, that will be happening as this episode drops. Uh, there's Earth Day. I, the yep. toolkits that you have available, mm-hmm. um, we lean into them frequently we on do. our side. So to be able to get assets that, that help promote that message and, you know, co-branding opportunities within them, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, so. Yeah. And, you know, Earth Day is a big yep. one. Energy Star Day later yep. in the year is a big one. That's usually in October. October. Yep. yep. Um, but for individual product categories yeah. as well, we have co-marketing materials. If you just want to do refrigerators, we have free co-marketing materials that you can take and run with, put your logo on yep. it, um, put it in your store, put it on your social media if you're if you're doing that. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it drives interest. It right. drives it it um, piques uh, consumers' interest and and brings them in. I, now I know, you know I love data. I don't know if you have any off the top of your head that you can pull, but consumers <laughs> yeah. that see this mark, yeah, uh, is there any? You know, do you guys are you aware of the impact that it has on on their purchase decision? Yeah, I mean, I, I could talk broadly about what we like public data yeah. that that has been produced with us or for us. Right. So ni- about ninety percent of Americans recognize the label, and that's that's the that's key important. thing. Yeah. Right. Um, they they understand generally what it is like at a, a basic level yep. and that's that's good. Hopefully that that if I'm doing my job maybe it'll be 91, <laughs> 92 next year. Who knows? Um, so so that's one important thing. But in the, in some other cases, manufacturers or retailers or utilities will will spend their own budget to actually do like A/B testing yep. to see what what is the impact on consumers or what is the on, in a survey um, what is the uh, impression of the same product with or without the energy star. Yeah. And repeatedly, it always comes back that people prefer the thing with the, the little blue logo on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, that that speaks to the value, that just speaks to the value proposition. Um, and in, in a lot of cases, it's not easy for the manufacturers to meet the, the requirements. You know, for instance, televisions uh, is one of our oldest product categories. I think we're on version nine wow. of, of yeah. a, 
our TV specification. And we just basically had a reset because periodically we have to increase the stringency of our uh, product, uh, our technical requirements for all of our product categories. We don't want ubiquity. We don't want everything on the uh, shelf to be Energy Star. That, right, that right. does a disservice to us and um, to the brand and to the manufacturers. So we want, generally speaking, we want the top 25% of energy performance. Um, but how do you do that? Right. Um, you work with the manufacturers, you work with the stakeholders in an open process to propose higher levels of performance and then um, meet kind of in the middle, yeah. uh, finalize that, and then your product list basically goes down to practically zero, which is kind of what happened to TVs last summer, I want to say. Right, right. So we had somewhere around like 70% market share, wow. which is too high. Yeah. And so we said we needed to refresh this. So we did. And the new specification, there's about 1% or 2% market share now. Wow. But it's an opportunity because yeah. the manufacturers yeah. who are going out of their way to right. meet this more stringent um, uh, bar, or, right. you know, uh, leap over that bar, uh, those TVs are really efficient. They're, right. I think they're the new TV spec, uh, on average, depending on the size of the TV, they're 34% more efficient than a non-Energy Star TV. Wow. And, it, and it's becoming more um, important, actually, yeah, because yeah. more TVs are getting smarter. Right. They have more <laughs> components. They yep. have um, more chips in them. Yep. Um, they're, they're becoming almost like the smart home hub in some cases. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's important that the energy efficiency of each product, each TV, reflects the yeah. real world that. usage. Yep. And so that's what we did. Well, the cool thing about that too is it shows these aren't just like set it and forget it standards. Right. Right. Like you guys are right. constantly as an agency looking at these products, evaluating them, exactly. putting, th putting them through what I have to imagine are some pretty stringent and, you know, Contentious. Right. Contentious <laughs> right. Testing at and, times, yes. Um, just to, to ensure that they, uh, it's meeting the, the level of requirement that you guys expect to be able to earn this mark. And Precisely. It, you know, it's 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 cool to watch. I mean, because yeah. as fast as the technology evolves, mm -hmm. that also goes to show how fast those standards have to exactly. evolve. Exactly. So. And if we weren't doing that, if we weren't always pushing the bar upwards, right. um, and there will never be a stopping moment for it, you know, <laughs> right. um, then it would be a disservice because we, you know, our whole yeah. goal is to uh, save people money, mitigate climate change, convey quality um, in yeah. in the product that you're buying with the little blue logo. Yeah. Um, and so it has to be a little hard to, to meet, right? Right. Uh, if, it, if it's easy, it doesn't mean too much, right? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to go back to something you mentioned a little earlier, which was rebates. And I know yes. that's a lot. If, if anyone's been paying attention, especially here at this show, mm -hmm. uh, they, they've seen Mr. Santner on stage talking yeah. about the Inflation Reduction Act. And yes. I know that's a, uh, a big point of emphasis right now within yeah. Nationwide to educate around everything going on there. I know Frank, he's been on the phone I can't even, I don't even know, I don't want to know, I think, how many times <laughs> or on how many calls to try to, uh, you know, be that voice for the independent channel. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, having a seat at the table uh, among the discussions for all the the, the rebate calculators and, and mm -hmm. things like that that are being developed for this program. So talk about that, a little update on that. Where, where do things stand right now with sure. the you Inflation mean like Reduction the, Act? Oh, okay, I, yeah. IRA, yeah. So, so Inflation Reduction Act is, um, you know, signed into law in, in 2022. And as part of that program, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the tax credit side, because that's a really yeah. big part of yeah. it. But it is it is a little bit less relevant to your members, mm -hmm. but it's, it's worth just for sure. mentioning. Yeah. So uh, the most energy con consuming products in your home are essentially found their way into the tax credits. Mm -hmm. um, so things like heat pump water heaters, yep. uh, heat pumps for uh, HVAC, for that can heat and cool your whole home. Um, things like windows, attic insulation. Yep. Uh, and if you are going to make all these upgrades, you probably, you might have an older home right. that needs to upgrade its electricity panel. So that, if an upgrade yeah, to absolutely. the electricity panel is also one of the tax credits. So all of those things are available to uh, Americans now. Uh, and I think that goes through uh, 2031. Yeah. So so that's the tax credit side, and that's baked into the cake. Um, but also, what was authorized in that law was uh, a, a series of rebate programs that um, uh, will distribute money to all the 50 states uh, to uh, subsidize the cost of various different products, some of which are Energy Star products. Yep. 
I think the, the, where the, the center of the Venn diagram <laughs> of the nationwide members and all the rebates, yeah. and there's a lot left up in the air. We, yeah. we are not in the driver's seat there. We're, we're um, monitoring that, but the Department of Energy is implementing that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, products like heat pump clothes dryers uh, and uh, the electric cooking, which I mentioned yep. earlier, those are eligible products, but, right. but each state would have to apply yep. for that product to the Department of Energy and say, hey, you know, holding our hand up, we want this product or that product in our program. So it's it's not, it's eligible, but right. the states will have to apply for that money yep. um, specifically Which for that product. Which is ongoing, right? It's there, ongoing. There have been applications. Yes. I, I think last I checked, and this was maybe January, last mm -hmm. time I, I spoke with Frank on, on this, I think there were like four states that had gone through some yeah. and had approvals. I, I don't know about approvals, or, or but they've, their they've applied. Applications have been submitted. Yeah. yeah, so it's California. This is all public yep. information. Yep. New York. Uh, New York, California, New Mexico, and Hawaii yep. uh, have applied. Yep. And um, so we'll see uh, the structure of their, yeah. their applications. I, I you know don't have any view into that. Right, but, right. Um, it will be interesting to see yeah. how that um, that will ultimately filter out there because I know a lot of your members carry those products. Um, some of them are a, a little niche. I mean, electric cooking that that's pretty ubiquitous, though. Yeah. I mean, that a lot of your members sell that already. Yep. Um, you know, part of the principle is that renewable and electricity generation is uh, becoming much more common in America. Um, you know, like I think Texas is, has the number one. Uh, wind production in right. the country right now. I, I know if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about this. I think California might have the most solar. Um, so there's renewable generation happening yep. during the day and at night, and there's there's got to be a way to use it, and you don't you definitely don't want to waste it, right. uh, especially because it's taking market share. And so uh, electric cooking helps with that a little bit yep. because it's a way to cook your food with the available renewable right. energy, and it's the only way to do that, yep. right? So that's that's part of it um, uh, that, and as I mentioned before there are other health benefits yeah, and sure. safety yep. benefits yep. for induction specifically yep. um, so yeah so the other product is heat pump clothes dryers uh, that's a really um, I love that product category uh, any any time you put a heat pump into a product that's electric that didn't have a heat pump previously you see the efficiency skyrocket yeah. 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 Um, yep. it's amazing what a compressor can do yeah, you it's know crazy. Yeah. so uh, so that's that's going to be exciting. They uh, many of the Energy Star heat pump clothes dryers. It has to be a heat pump clothes dryer. Um, will theoretically could be eligible in in those rebate programs if the state applies for that. Um, and the, the Department of Energy they have a, a list of FAQs on yep. their their website that also clarified that the all-in-one uh, washer heat pump right. dryer yep. um, that several of the manufacturers here make. Uh, if I, I think the, I think pretty sure they're Energy Star products already. Right. I think they're already certified. Yep. Because they have a heat pump element, they are also yeah. going to be eligible for that as well. Yeah. So that is great yeah. because people already love that product, and mm -hmm. it, you know it's a space saver. Yep. Um, it's a time saver because if you if you dig into um, I haven't verified <laughs> this, but I think you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I do. But there, <laughs> yeah. but but the amount of time uh, that that Has wet clothes stay. Washed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I can maybe. tell you, it happens at least twice a week in my house. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> you know. after I heard this statistic, I actually paid more attention <laughs> yeah. to to the way I wash and dry yeah. my clothes. But but the uh, the way that you uh, the wash your clothes, you leave them in the in washer. The yep with them the just kind of just sitting there for an hour. I think they stay in there for the average is, is an hour, yeah. which is not great. You know, no. don't you want to wash it right. and then and have then the dry it. cycle click on right and then away. in two hours it's the, all done. The it's, fact yeah. of not even having to pick them up, pick the wet clothes up out of the washer and put them in that like that sounds fantastic oh, to me. So completely. it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, and they're pretty big drums too. Yeah. So they fit, fit a lot of clothes. Um, so so yeah so there's there's a lot going on um yeah there is uh it's an exciting time for energy star broadly yeah i think and you've mentioned the tools too like the rebate finder as well yes. so like that that's you guys are making this on the energy star side simpler for 
consumer and retailer, yeah. I have to imagine, you know, being able to dive into this tool, see what's available in their area that yeah. they should be prepared for, prepared to process, yes. and, and all that sort of stuff as well. And it's not just like the usual suspects. People right. think like, oh, it's it's this amount of money for only your refrigerator right. yeah. or a light bulb or something yeah. like that. Um, I was looking uh, the other day, and it really runs the gamut of all of our products. I mean, like things like dehumidifiers and room yeah. air cleaners. Various different utilities have different approaches for how they want to run their uh, utility rebate program. Yeah. And a lot of our products happen to find their way in there. So, yeah, the one-stop shop for uh, all the rebates are just Google Energy Star Rebate Finder. Yep. And, um, you know, you can get Might even put a, a link to it in the description there you here. Go. You know, you don't even have to Google anything. Just no. look down below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. Well, this was, hey, a, a ton of fun. Yeah. Uh, and I know you, you had to walk like five steps to get here. I but, did. Um, yes. you're, and your strides are even shorter because, you know, like <laughs> how tall you are. But for me, it's like 10 steps over there. Um, but, no, I, this was a lot of fun to be able to do uh, in person. Yeah, likewise. Uh, you know, out from behind our Zoom cameras. But, uh, no, yes. this was great. And like you know i'm sure on behalf of frank and caleb you know excited to have you here um mm -hmm. and you know get back out there see what's going on and yeah. uh you know keep pumping that energy star message we'll be doing the same uh, and hope you enjoy the rest of the time here thank you likewise okay. Awesome. And thanks again to Dan. Like I said, just a cool opportunity. Uh, if you watch the video version, you know, uh, it, well, you don't know because we were sitting down, but, uh, you know, we joke about the height difference. You could tell a little bit on video, uh, but no, it's uh, Dan and I, um, for as different as we are in height, the uh, the passion around, uh, you know, kind of what we do is certainly apparent and obvious. Um, you know, appreciate him sharing that with us uh, in, in the form of a podcast and um, everything he's been doing with EPA. So, uh, look forward to being able to, you know, have this interview with him. So uh, appreciate that. And as always, appreciate you listening to the Independent Thinking Podcast. And we'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>